Apple Facebook is me, Nancy, and happy Saturday, I guess. Um, I'm going to put quick in. All right. And I know probably a lot of you are sleeping right now. But I'm still going live because I've been busy working behind the scene. And finally, I get time to get out and to able to sit down and create really cute nails for you. So, hope is... Hey, Brazil! How are you? You are a night owl like me. Finally, I get some time to tune in here so that I can show you what I got. And then we are going to do some cute designs today uh, for the press on. So definitely you can do it similar like this design for your clients now. However, it is also is fun for the press on. So I'm just doing the designs and then you can do apply the same thing for either with the press on or for the client's nails. So I just finished with this super cute pinky ones right here. But we are going to do fine nails and then we can show you what you can be able to create it with. And you can get this, purchase the super cute, like, um, pre-colored tips. The white ones and a black one. I don't have a black ones in front of me, but the white colors, you can get it. Or in the black colors, or also the clear coffin. You are up, up. That's awesome. Hi, Skyla. Hi, it's Mama Vic. Hello, thanks so much everyone for tuning in. All right, so get let's get right into I just want to make sure I don't want to miss anyone. So whoever's still up, that'd be awesome to have you, Joyce. Whoever are just um might miss it, it's okay. You can always watch our um replay. So let's get right into it. And then here's a set that last time I did or two nights ago. Last night Vicky did the video for me, so we got to take our kids out for our for my birthday. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. I had a great time with my family. And I've been busy working all day. Create so many different cool designs. And what is new products coming in. So I'm so excited. So you can definitely watch um, replays. From our IGTV, our Facebook videos, if you're missing uh, this nails, how I create this. So it's really fun, it's really cool. And I did use um, these colors as teal from this collection. So just in case you are curious. And let's move on to this set. And this set I'm using a glamour and the whites and the clear. Um, colors hey um mari posita hello how are you thank you so much for tuning in and if you are first time tuning in so welcome to glitter sassy and such all right so hi april how are you all right so let's get right into this and we are going to to on the first nails, I'm gonna go ahead and do is a premium Iho Chan Pro Foy. So this is the preference for you to see. And then we're gonna walk in and I said, remember that I said I'm gonna show you how I achieve really cool kind of a jelly look. Sheer look or jelly looks for the black colors. I will definitely can't wait. So I'm going, um, Go ahead and apply the premium Iho Chan for Foy, and this is a premium um, special that you only need to give for 30 seconds. Under is 48 watts of LED light, and if you are having the others, Chan for Foy gel, which is our in a white bottle, you definitely can keep it under LED light for about 60 seconds. So, let me. Cure this one for 30 seconds. 
Uh, I think you accidentally this one is okay. I'm excited about this nails because in the next one we are going to create this really cool fun it's like a lace look and then drawing using um precision brush gel painting and this also will be for uh i think was request for that it's jasmine asking for how to use precision gel painting with precision brush as well so i am going to do it and if you miss it you can definitely watch our replays i'm so excited and hello everyone welcome to glitter sissy and such thank you so much skyla thank you thank you let me see if i miss any comments at all So totally fine and then let me no, I'm gonna keep, let's see what colors I'm going to what part of it I want this more of the red part in okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this part of the red. I want some red though. And with this, you make sure you will press it. Highly on the size, and I have oil on my hand, so I am going to need the dual end tweezer. It's easier to do on even on the nails on the client's nails and you can have it make sure you rub it critical area or untie the nails this is come up right there for you Put it back in so I am off camera. Yep, if whatever you feel like it's off, you definitely gonna put it right back in and it shine for everything. So now I am going to make it like uh, the really nice gold trims along with the nail so it looks nice and it doesn't look naked thank you so much skyla and here i have my go if you have a pot gel painting in the pot definitely you can use that my little opal it's really a cool a thick really pigmented and also it's consistency so when you take it out it might be it feel it's really pigmented so I am going to get most of the products off on the handle of the brush and get just really thin 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 you can go back and get more but I want to be a really thin line I don't want it dripping over plates And you are going to keep your brush. Make sure you hold one's hand with stationery and then keep the brush is flat, like parallels with the nails. So this is getting really is nice. Um, flatten on the sides, dip it back, submerging your brush back in and you can go do the other side. We're gonna do that with other nails as well as in the black lace. Okay. 
Hello everyone. If I don't see your comment. Brazil. Great life today. I got to watch you a part of it and I got so busy with uh, working with the products. Thanks so much for sharing. So I am go ahead and finish on the tips in the kitty go area. Great. So now I'm going ahead and cure for sixty seconds. All right. I'm gonna use this again in a little bit. And now go ahead and start with our crystal placement. And I have a super cute, like, a drop. I really, really love this. And we're going to create it this look. And I have a frame right here. Uh, from Metal Art 2, number 2. And I bend it a little bit. You can see that using a frame bender. So, my frame bender is here, it's just earlier, uh, right, right there, I think, right here, can you get it? So I'm showing you, if you have a hard time to get this, like a band, to be really curved into the nail C curve like this, so all you need to do is really simple. To get frame bender and you can find this really easy and it's not crazy expensive but glitter sets and such for a set of two of them like one smaller size one a bigger size I think is this one another bend from the other bend uh, where the bend <laughs> Mm, I couldn't find it was somewhere, but no problem. And you just press it down. And look at how it's been beautiful for you. So it won't give you a hard time. So it's been really nice and it curves. So here's a frame bender. There's uh, two sizes and you get the set of two. One for smaller uh, frame and one for bigger frame. So I love this. It's really coming handy and it doesn't take that much. All right, so let's go in to do a crystal placement. I'm going to using a really a cool a thick density condensed glue gels and apply it don't want to using it too much also you don't want to use it too little if you're having a hard time doing your crystal placement and your crystal is always falling off and it's not staying this uh, bestie you are going to really appreciate this because this will hold all your crystal your charm your chains in one place so it's, it's really so yes what's she no way they suggest it is the first step of the three step crystal placement. First step of the trifecta is the condensed glue gel. And next mm -hmm. one, you have to know why taco. Yeah, and. Thanks so much, April. Oh, thanks so much, Skyla. And we are going to floating on the top of Ankia condensed glue gel. You don't want to doing it too much to flood it, your crystal just floating on the top. And I have my super cute crimson red, also my drop right here, and then the frame. I'm going to place this right in the middle about 
Oh my gosh, so beautiful. All right, one, it just jumped right in. Hey, unique all day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so glad you like it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Glitter Sessing and such. So you know it's late for a lot of you. It's late for me too. Sometimes I was so busy working on a product and I finally said, nope. I'm gonna go and see everyone because I'm gonna create this set anyway so I want to share with you so for a lot of you have so many questions definitely definitely I can really have fun and I think can you get the fur out of the top thank you How everyone doing today? Actually, it's this Saturday already. I miss you all. I wasn't here yesterday in the live, but Vicky was here. So welcome, welcome to Glitz Assessor and such. Live tutorial. I'm gonna do, it's really cool. So a lot of questions for how do I get started with the crystal? How do you, um, how do you know, or uh, what's the best way to do a crystal placement? It's really simple. You see, I start with a centerpiece. In this case, my centerpiece is a drop. So I started first and then I have a frames little frames you can do with or without frames but then you start from a centerpiece first and then you can use all other crystals um, size or smaller shape of the crystal squeezes shape you definitely can um, place them around all right I'm gonna move to make sure they are Even get a couple more. Get a smaller size right there. We want to get closer to the one the design I did earlier. And you can put this on this frame, but you can't, like, don't want to put on there. It's up to you. I'm going to put some on it. We're going to take this on and from there and place right there. The tweezers come really nice and handy. And put some beads on it. And we can adjust it shortly. Alright, so if this one needs to be adjusted, I think. All right, let me take it off from the side for one second. All 
All right, so I'm gonna key this for a 60 second, just adjusting, adjusting it. up on the side give me just a second i'm gonna adjusting it quick hello everyone and welcome to grace of sicilian search live tutorial i need the smaller one no it's good Thank you. Just want to make sure it's go right in the middle of the nails before you're like here. So I couldn't see it uh, when it's a little bit far away from me. I got it down. All right, here for this one. And now we are moving on to the next one. Looks really cute. Matching with the other one. Great, here. Hi, Foxy Loxy, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. We are going to do, I have the clear nails right here, and I'm gonna do a chan for four, it's like one third of the nails like about three quarters of the nails. And we are going to do some chanfer foyer first and then we are going to draw on that. And then I'm gonna show you how I create that uh, uh, Can I get the stone there? Super cute. We are going to put this one in here and then do the um, Precision glue gels shortly and I'm going to using Glitz gel polish and here's a really cool, the ratio you are going to do. Number 24 is jet black. But before that, I am going to Place a foil, and this foil I'm using for the white one, and then for cute black and the white roses is from our number 16. So give it a good, like a rub. This four is really cute, Skyla. This is um, number 16. Just gonna rub it to make sure they are like really stay stick on the chamfer foil gels. Just got all everything I need just a little bit then you flag it back up and press it on chamfer and do on this side doesn't matter we're gonna do some crystal placement later it's gonna cover us anyway but I don't want 
it's to missing there we go my finger soles um slick with the lotion and the oil okay this is a tacky underneath so you might see it all right so let's create that look I missed some comments earlier. What are they just talking about each other? Skyla, Skyla. Um, the marmers I'm using at the moment is um, uh, CND retention. All right, so let's stay tuned for glitz, accessory, and such um, monomers coming out is next month. Okay, so. One drop of number 24 jet black, and then we are gonna do a two drop of no white taco. This is really a pen, you can do two drop or one drop, two drop, three drop. It depends on how you want it to be um, she through and sheer. So I'm gonna do two drop. So then we are going to using a dot tool and saw it. Just use a dot tool, don't use your brush because then it's might hard on your brush. And then either you can use a twin tip brush. I am using is number four, the number tens. It's kind of an oval brush. And we are just going to just give it really a good polishing on you can see that a little bit is tone is really cute see through black but you still see some good pigment of black in there all right so now here for a 60 second and I am going to do the same one on the pinky And same thing, my number 10 brush, like an oval brush, and applies all and tie the nails. You see the nails is like clear, but it's like a little bit of a hint of see-through black. Ah, thanks so much, Mama Vic. Thank you, thank you. We've been working hard on that, so I can't wait. So you can repeat it again, twice. And this nail, I'm just doing like 30%. I mean like 60% of the nails we did foil already and 30% left, we're doing that she look. All right, here for 30 sec 60 second. I know, right? Um, Brazil, I can't wait. Coming in very soon by next month or middle of next month. So stay tuned. I can't wait. 
All right, so it looks really cool in this one. I'm going to gear this. And that's how simple, easy you're using for the jelly and see-through. And then I am going to drop one drop of a no wipe top coat or two. So I can clean my brush. This is so simple that cleans it because when you're using with gel polish, you are just going to just submerging your brush in and also just swirl it to release all of pigment off from your brush. You can see that, right? And when you're using it for the gel polish, you don't want to use it and dip it in acetone or alcohol to clean it unless, unless it's got here, your gel brush got here, then you might need to clean it under its acetone to dissolving all of that um, hot gels that have been keying in there. Otherwise, you don't need it and then cap on so to protect your brush. The wrong one. There you go. Wipe this off. <laughs> Brazil, I totally get it. Take advantage before his uh, sales over. I get so much in. I can't wait to see what you come up with so many different designs. Um, let me do this one in dress. So here you get a really cool uh, look have a jelly see-through sheer look. So we are going to using a uh, gel painting in the bottle if you don't have gel painting in a bottle you can use it on the gel jar in the pot and use one of the brush is a single brush is number four oh thanks so much diva nails i must i think i guess is so you're going to source it to get a lot of like extra gel painting off from the brush because you want to get to just um, a good amount but not to flood it at yours so I'm gonna start from the corner and keep my brush flat And then just light pressure. And pick up more gel polish. And do it. Again. Do it again, and then um, we are going to flash key this one first for about 30 seconds. I love this design. Nick, hello Nick. Thanks so much for tuning in. This must be late for you, yeah? I'm gonna do it again. So with this, and I'm going to the other side 
and I'm going to start it from there. Keep your brush flat. Instead of like 40 degree or 60 degree is to make it looks hard and it might, your hand might be shaky. So hold stationary is really tight right here. And then you'll lay your brush flat and with really light pressure. It's like we asked you if you're gonna set them aside. <laughs> Slay queens. Yep, stay tuned. A lot of requests for so many sets that I make. So, yep, definitely. If you ladies like it so much, then yes. How are you? Happy a Saturday. Technically, it's Saturday now. But I'm almost go earlier but I was so busy at work so work on in the office behind the scene with so many products and so many news coming in I can repeat it I am going to cure for 60 seconds I'm gonna doing this one the same thing. You can either use it or you can either do it with the weaver gel. Doesn't matter. It's up to you. It's really cool with weaver gel as well. <laughs> Gala do Heidi, hello, how are you? Hola. So I'm going to do this one. And make sure you get it off most of the products. And then I will start from right in the middle. Give it flat. light pressure same thing with the second line And then I usually start from the middles so then I kind of um, get an ideas and to balance on the boat um, and so you, it's the best to do it divide in half and then you walk from there all right so I am going to give it really uh, flash quick flash here if you have your flash gear mini lamb I love it you can do it um, and then we'll go into the other side look at that when it doesn't have a tacky underneath so it looks much better you're seeing it hey nay nay how are you? Oh, we are going to do some crystal placement on that one shortly on both of them. See, we're working on both lace nails. Then we are just going to do both of them. 
right, so I need the next one. I need the nail piece. Thank you. I am uh, going to start right there, where right in the center is. And then continue doing for the rest of them. I mean the rest of the designs. Can you check the mess, um, the comments if I have it? Where's this last one? I need to get my tablets right here. Maybe you should. And that tablet there. Think. Hmm. So I can see everyone's comments. If I don't see it right now. Don't kill me. So keep it flat is a key though. I'm gonna do it again. Really light touch. You don't wanna to press too hard and then it's really heavy touch, then it's make your lines a little bit too smear or too thick. All right, so now we are going to cure. For 60 seconds. Ta -da. And each time you're using just a little bit, you don't need it a whole lot. I'm gonna show you. So many in here. So you just make sure that the brush it just load enough. It shouldn't have any uh, dripping belly at all. It should be like that in order for you to do a really precise line. And we're gonna go in the crystal placement using condensed glue gel, no wipe top coat. And the last step is precision glue. We are going to do it later. Um, I'm going to apply this one with our condensed glue gel. I'm going to apply it all and tie the nails because I am going to using that super cute um, opal drop and some others cute white opal. And if you know exactly where you are going to place your crystals, definitely you can only apply in that um, spot. But I'm going to apply it on all and tie the nails. Can you place this one in here? There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Skyla. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, everyone. 
Hold on. I think, I think I miss it. I'm supposed to do is, um, so when it's happened like that, don't worry, you can definitely doing it after. I'm supposed to put the outline for you. But we are going to do it shortly. Let's do the super cute drop right there. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this design. One, two, three. Just point your beads right between your crystal. It will really bring the designs up. They usually end up with three beads on the end or one bead on the end. And this one, I have three beads. And then, using tiny little super cute crystal. Great, happy with this. We are going to gear. For 60 seconds. Yeah, they are as opal, the white opals on um, Foxy. And then we're going to do this one shortly. I'm so excited with this one. We did this really good today with a lot of cool, fun designs. And I'm so happy that I got to see you all. And then I am going to using as go gel paintings again. Give a little shake and I'm gonna sort it to get most of the gel painting out. And I am going to paint it right on the side, all the edges of it. Just bring it out a little bit. Keep your brush flat, so then you can get like a one stroke along with. So I don't know I can see your comments because I look down most of the time. I should have my. Um, do the same thing with this. And then the loud giggle area. I like a little bit of hint of gold to keep it looks really stand out. You can go back if you want to more goes on it. And I'll do it one line over here. And then the other Alright, 
so now we are going to gear again just in case you forget our ears here all right so The op white opal, the drop. You mean this one? Mm -hmm. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, China. Yes, I will say that you can um, apply that on. Ah, uh, Skyla, good night. Sweet dream. I will see you tomorrow. And it's all done. And you can definitely like apply the top coat. I forgot the gel painting on it, so that's why I did it after. But it's okay. Either you after you done it, it's totally fine. You can top coat it again. China, thanks so much for tuning in. Hi, Jasmine. We are using a lot of like um, gel painting with precision brush. As you were asking the other day how to use those um, gel painting we'll have a lot of fun uh, techniques to use with so try not to get into the crystals I'm going around with this because we are going to seal all of this not seal the top coat just sealing the um, gold gel painting Thank you so much, China. Hey, CC, how are you? Awesome, we have a fun house here with all ladies. The lady is amazing. And then let's move, when we're waiting for the other ones, we are going to do a crystal placement for this one. I'm so obsessed with this. Let using condensed glue gels. We are going to do that design. This one. I'm gonna apply it all and tie the nails because we are going to apply the crystals and the centerpiece with the crimson diamond shard and then with a little scarlet red. Don't forget the no wipe top coat. Jasmine, stay tuned for the class in uh, April. If we have it, we're definitely going to keep you posted. I'm floating on the top of the condensed glue gels. This one is so adorable. We'll put it right here at the second nails, I think. And now we are going to add some cute crystals on. I am going to place a centerpiece right in the middle. another one on the top another one in the bottom uh, am I on the frame look dark though another one on the side left right and the left and then now you're filling in all of the gap between How's everyone doing? 
Hope you all have a fabulous um, Saturday. Actually, it's technically Saturday now. So now I'm going to use in your smaller size. I'm putting right between that um, between the, whatever you call that, the connection of the two, two eye or crocs or joys or just super cute. You can add more as you wish. Happy with this? We are going to place it under the LED light. Now I am going to here for 60 Thank you, Foxy. You know, excited for um, uh, Jasmine to see this one. Well, it's Aaliyah we created that is so cool and fun to look and was going to the next one and this one we are going to using two colors I mean only one color obsidian and crystal clear for fusion ink and you need uh, just as only you need is crystal clear and obsidian and you are going to need a piece of paper this one looks super adorable and we have that two design. We're going to add the precision glue after all the nails done. We're going to put it in and give a little shake. And I'm gonna just dab this on. And make sure you have a, a matte top coat first. And you can do it darkers or lighters. It definitely, you want a darker, add it more in. Oh, that's awesome, Jasmine. And Crystal. Just dab it in. And when did you see that it's from a really shiny and it's turning to matte? Jasmine, I can't wait to see you created cool things with that. Mama Vic's great nail design. I got to see it. Thanks so much for sharing. 
make sure you are cleaning the brush before you put it back in and then you either dab it I just dab it you can see that um, And wipe it off you can see that all the pigment it's come right and off to the piece of paper towel and usually I dab it from the outside toward inside how's everyone doing so far I feel like I'm quite not loud like usually because just in case you were turning the volume in the middle of the night, I don't want you to be scared while screaming and talking loud. So stop the voice, hopefully. You can still hear me. it you can add more you can blend it more if you want to do absolutely it's up to you all right then you didn't know Looking fabulous. <coughs> and now, it's really cool. You're gonna make some veins on it. Just using that gel painting in the bottle. If you don't have a pot, this is going to be your bestie and it's so convenient. It had the really precision brush already. Just get most of the gel polish off. And then you can make it like doesn't have to be straight perfect line. You want to make it look soft look so it looks more natural looking. And you go along with your veins. All right, flash here. For 30 seconds. Yeah, on this one, I'm not doing obsidian. Maybe on the next different set, but I'm going to do this one, CC. The red and the white opal. But yes, great idea. We can do it in some others set. I'm going to using a gold gel painting. I'm going to make sure I get it all off from the... You can either get this or you can get the... Um, I like this and also I do like our gel painting in the pot too. Gel painting in the pot is golden touch. It is really gorgeous. So just in case you just have this one, I want to show you how you can do this one easily. All right, so it's good. I am going to here. And here. We're gonna using a number 93 butterflies. Going to add some on. Yeah, CC, maybe I'll do another set for obsidians, crystal. All right, super cute. Um, 
Great question, Jasmine. This one is convenient to gel painting for. It's like you can do a French look or you can do really simple line. Convenience for you. But then on the others, on the, our set of gel painting, the pigment is really pigmented. So it's thicker than this. It's thicker than the bottle. The gel painting in the pot. I have it right in my side right here. I'm going to show you shortly. Then a smaller one. If you don't want anything, or even like if you don't want um, the butterflies, you can definitely leave it alone and top coat for the um, veins like gold, black and gold veins. If you want to get like more dramatic, I'm gonna show you after this. So we're all going to using condensed blue gels. I'm going to apply it on the nails. Not too thick, not too thin. Don't forget no web top coat. Oh, that's awesome. Brazil. I love this uh, super cute black butterflies. I don't know how many of you are what's like painted the black butterflies. It's really um, tiny in details, you know. Might take a little bit longer time. So I need these three colors. I mean, just two colors and then the beads. So this one is going to be like a random. You see, I pick the bigger one first, bigger two first, and then I'm going around with the smaller, you know, and then you add pour on it. It doesn't have to be completely matching matching on the other one. It's a free style for this uh, crystal placement on this like um, opal and light look. Just add it on. Make sure they are tight together. Important key that they are close, close together. And then you add them. So when you get to some idea is going along with this. The smaller ones and now I'm adding like a beads on is everybody seeing okay I am in a frame mm -hmm. both Facebook and Instagram yeah. thank you thank you hey Anna Beauty we always say our live love so if you want to go to our IGTV we have a backlog of over two, three years worth of footage and tutorial. Yeah, I just check on my, um, look at it in my YouTube channel. It looks like we save about my 800 video total, yeah, right? Is that total? More than that? It's really cool. Sometimes I go back and watch my own video and, and learn it too, you know? Because um, 
be honest, some of my videos that I tutorial I prepares really well and it doesn't turn out the way I prepare not turn out I changed my mind so we completely sp spontaneous from the different designs and it's so cool to rewatching them it's really really stunning and because you all give me so much of inspiration so like you're all like okay no do this do that so, sure let's do this that's how I learned it and that's how I got to create this a lot of cool design for all of you. So I'm sometimes I'm re-watching them. And like, oh, that's cool. How did I come up with that idea? You know, it's just like really cool and stunning now. Alright, I think I really like it. And I'll put one more right there. It's basically is go to the veins. You don't want to cover it. If you want to, you can't. All right, so I'm gonna clear this one for 60 seconds. Awesome. Oh, so cute. And then, oh my gosh. That's all. We have one more left. This one I am going to do is um, premium eye hole transfer foil. Just transfer that design on to do our pinky nails. And then with the set, if you want to do 20 nails for the client, definitely um, you can do all of them with the foil. And leave 10 with solid 10 design. Oh, ideas for a lot of you doing your clients. I completely hold five nails for you. It's in the theme. So I like to do that in the theme for you. So then you get more ideas. I'll show you. Thank you so much for the batch. It's done already? 30, uh, 30 seconds. Which one? This one done? Look at that, beautiful. So we have like first one, second, third, and the fourth that I did it earlier. With this, I think we did the lace. super cute it's done already yeah. 30 seconds and okay doesn't matter wherever you want to place yours I think I want to go I know I like them all would be that right here my hands right run right on the spine first and then I use I am going to use the door and teaser It's already come off. It's just like, hello, I'm coming off. So this one is missing. Just put it back in. Hmm. Which four set is this one? Hmm? This one is number 16. I love this one. If you haven't get a chance to get one, 
just get one for yourself it's a special for 90,000 follower sales is nine dollars and you'll never go wrong with this so I, I was trying to press it down for my tacky it just tried to come off okay I got it good now this is the set I using number 16 super cute I love it so now I am going to using oh I'm gonna show you the part if you are here Jasmine you're still here here's a gel painting in the pot see that so if you're using that you are definitely can using either a twin tip brush if you don't have that single brush number four you can use twin tip brush twin tip brush has a little bit shorter uh, um, and you can load it from the jars or you can just pick a little bit of your gels in the palace and then you can draw that so I just need that much I'm going to keep it flat make sure you hold the hand stationary and want to get support I don't want to paint it on the top of the, on the tacky stuff. Make sure that I don't get into the tacky stuff right there. Okay, good. Keep it flat. And you don't need to load a lot of the gel painting is really pigmented you can see that so either way if you have the gel painting in the bottle with precision brush if you don't have any brush handy that precision brush will be gel painting with precision brush will be really a good friends if you have the brush I love this single brush that gets 12, 13 different kind of brush for you to work with and keep the brush flat You can go back if you want to. Get a little bit of fun. There you go. I'm gonna go around with the kitty go. Sorry, am I too far away from the frame? And because it's really uh, consistency. It's not like a gel polish, it's thicker than gel polish. So you don't need a whole lot. I'm gonna get just a little bit here. As some of my foil. Okay, great, so I'm going to cure it. Oh, that's awesome and paint the brush golden touch uh, this is uh, for set number 16 Jasmine I love this one I use I use a lot of them I use this one almost gone though I need to get another set this I cut so many times to the point that so shorter I can't wait and I use this one um, on that set remember we did that set and I use on this one right there I use so many different designs with this set and today we did the we did some, 
I use a lot to the point I have only that much left. That's it. But I love it so much. It's so adorable. And I'm not using a black one today for this one. And then for the half lace nails right there. It looks so much better in person than in under camera. Because under camera, I feel like it's so dark, but it's not bad at all. Make sure you cap on when you pinch your brush. Cap on. You can clean it later or keep it moist, but don't let it open on the desk to collecting dust. Or it might get accidentally killed by, you know, the sunlight if you're um, closer to the window during the daytime. Alright, so I'm going to use uh, condensed blue gels. Apply it all entire nails. Or you know exactly where you want to apply the crystal. You can just apply your condensed blue gel right there. And I am going to use your no wipe top coat. Second step of trifecta. And floating on the top of a condensed blue gel. Just floating on the top. You see that the bristle is just floating on the top. It's not spread out. And then I need this too. So I want to do one big cute centerpiece right there. So make it one right here. And then next one I was like gradually getting a smaller and a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller. I love this is a white opal so much. It's go with everything special like um, with a cute um, floral background and if you can't get it right and perfect the spot don't worry we're always going to to play some first and then I will using my dot two to adjusting it this is one of really cute, super simple, easy. And it looks crooked, but don't worry about it because we are going to adjusting it. Which is I love about condensed glue gels and no wipe top gold because even though you are like need to adjusting it during a time that you do crystal placement, it's not going to set on you like right away. Versus to you using that um, resins glue is set right away. All right, so if you're happy with this, we are going to cure for 60 seconds. <laughs> Brazil, you, you will love it. The foil, you mean? You will love this foil. This foil, I love this. It's so much gorgeous um, ombre, encapsulate in ombre. You will love this one. Okay, great. Cure for 60 seconds. Brazil, I know you will love this. And then I'm going to do precision glues on all of them. They're so adorable, right, Jasmine? I'm so glad you like it. It's so that an idea for you to do a lot of um, gel painting in a bottle. 
in the meantime, I'm waiting. I'm going to using pre-season glue gels to seal on the top of the beads and metals and then go around with the edges and gap between crystals. Try to avoiding is um, sealing and touching the top of the crystal because you don't want to destroy it. But you can go in between all the edges right there, the gap right there. Check, check, check. I will check it first before you squeeze anything out because you don't want to do squeeze too much out and you're going to flood it, your crystal. Seal this because it's going to prevent from getting tarnished. All right, so here for 60 seconds. Moving on to the next one. Doing the same thing. I'm sealing on the top. It's like all over and top, top, and go around crystals only. I'm not going to do it on the top. This is a, to keep nice and shy and the cut and the sparkle of your opal, your crystals. Check first. If you feel scratchy, then you squeeze it in, but you are going to check first. Okay, here for 60 seconds. Going to the third nails. Do the same thing. I'm sealing all of the beads. Feel like it too much. I'm going to using a twin tip brush and blend the excess precision glue gel so it will look really nice and is prevent from like a lumpy finish after you gear under aluminum. Give a quick swipe here for 60 seconds. And going to the fourth nail. We can place them here. And I'm gonna check this one first. It looks really good, it's so smooth. You only squeeze it in when you feel scratchy. If it's scratchy, then uh, yes, it's had a gap there. You want to seal it in so then it won't not catching on the client's hair or is getting more chance for it to just like come off. Really good. And Kia, oops, sorry. I was like off the camera. Here again for 60 seconds. Let me see. Here. Let me get this one for one second first. And that's one go here, and then that one's. Just one second. Let me lay on the side so we can see on both Facebook and Instagram. I hope you really like it. As I promised, I show you again. I want you to why you see me doing um, the jelly look. If you don't have a jelly gels. And you want to create the sheer look from any colors. And especially a glitch gel polish is so pigmented. So you just drop one drop of the gel polish of any colors you want it uh, to do. You want it to do. And then you can um, do the same techniques that I share with you to create so many like sheer looking. Um, if you can do it in a pink, make it like have a sheer pink. Um, and... 
you can using is pre-seasoned um, brush, a gel painting with pre-seasoned brush. Like I said, if you're doing sheer pink, you can use this to create a lot of different look. I'll just rub it off a lot, so. Or even yellow. I can't wait. Definitely, I can do a lot for you. And the next coming video, I did use this uh, 93 stickers. I've been using it so, so adorable. And a lot of foil. But number 16's right here. And I use some... Um, the press on coffin clears and the uh, white set. I have. Oh, where's the white set? Oh, right here. No. Where did I put it? The white set. The white uh, press on right there. Yeah, I use this one. So you can, you don't have to do whole set, like you can do this and incorporate with your clear coffin. The clear coffin is also available it's on the websites with like 500 pieces, I think. You can do so many, like sheer clears. Um, get me the third drawer. Fourth, the fourth, fourth one. Thanks so much, Cece. Yes, definitely in one time I will do an obsidian crystal for you. Yeah, so this is like a clear coffin, super cute. And then it's about the same size as my nails. I love it. I definitely can wear this set as well. You know, perfect length. Looks short, but it's perfect length. And looks so cute. That's one for Instagram so you can see. Thank you, Jasmine. Right here, I'm trying to get a good spot for maybe here. Right there. Hope you like this set and I know it's late and but I'm so enjoying with everyone. I said, oh, seeing I create this, I would definitely want to share with you. I don't want to miss it, not sharing with everyone. For all of you who want to create it, this look for your clients. Hold on, I have a hard time to get in the uh, Instagram. All right, I have to turn like that, sorry. <laughs> but you can do exactly the same design like this for your clients at the salon. Or you can do create this look for yourself. It doesn't matter as long as you're enjoying it. And you can re-watching them. I am going to save it. Oh, Karen, hello. How are you? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, April. Thank you, Jasmine. Let me want to make sure I say hi to everyone. And thank you so much. Thank you, China. Always there supporting me. Thank you, Shay, for a great batch. Thank you, Nick. Thank you so much, Nick. You have a day off tomorrow. That's why you're able to join me that late. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mama Vic. Thank you, Karens. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Cece. Hey, my unapologetic lifestyle. How are you? Thanks so much, April. Thank you, Foxy Luxy. So good to see you. And thank you so much to all of you tuning in earlier and for all of you who watch our replays. Hope you enjoyed this videos and is created with a lot of love and a passion for me and from a team behind the scene. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you, Brazil, if you are there. Karen's missing you on live. I know you're busy. Thanks so much for making some time and stop by and say hello. And make sure you ladies get some rest. And I will definitely going to see you in the next live video. I can't wait because I said, like, oh, we're talking about this set. I'm going to create it for you. So then that way, if you are getting some ideas, some things you like to do like this, definitely it's going to be something for you to do. So um, 
Hope everyone enjoy. And please be safe and take good care of yourselves. I will see you in the next live video. Good night, ladies. Just check out everything is up in the website with the news. Uh, launch also is special with 99 cents for sticker to celebrate our 90,000 of you. Thank you so much to every single of you. So instead of we giving is away for is giveaway for one winner, we giving to all of you because you all a winner. So thank you so much. And Chanfu for is nine dollars, and a lot of product is is um special sales up to 80 percent so check that out and here's something i love it so much and we are having so much love from all of you it's so convenient it's already colors it's pre-colors for you for a lot of you is want to get a set on or to doing some business with your press on nails this is something that's really cool i'm using this color and then the set i using today is a clear and also is um the white i just move the whites again and then the white one that's 19 colors um and at the moment but you know it's coming in 38 color totally because glitz working really hard to get all of the colors is really trendy for you so um check that out and i will see you in the next live video thank you so much bye everyone i love you all bye bye